Hi everyone, welcome to Nourish Technologies. This is Trainvas. So, in this session, we will see so one simple FAQ in Core Java. So, what is that? How to access static members in Java application? Question. Question. How to access static members in Java application? In Java application. So, we know that static application means what every Java application is having only two types of members static members and non static members. But now the question is accessing static members in application. Okay. So, here we are accessing accessing static member static member. Sir, one example of any static member simple what are the members we can access externally right. So, means what generally only variables we can access and methods we can access right. Anyway, blocks we cannot access if there is a static block and non static block. So, we cannot access because no identity we know the basics right. Now, here accessing static member means it may be a variable static variable or method static method variable and method. But now, so before accessing from where you are accessing also you should consider two things. So, what you are accessing either static member or non static member and from where you are accessing is also important. Okay. So, here we have two contexts from from static context from static context. So, we know that what is a static context and next uh, non static context non static context accessing from static context and accessing from non static context. So, what you are accessing we are accessing static member it may be static variable or a static method and next from where you are accessing from the static context or from the non static context. Generally in Java application if you want to access the members either static members or non static members from the static area or non static area we have only three options. So, first one using class name using the so first one is a class name second one is a this keyword third one is a object reference variable we know all these three class name this keyword object reference variable. So, here also same story using class name class name this keyword object reference variable. object reference variable ok. Accessing static member from static context so using how many chances. So, first of all static members we can access either by using class name. So, mostly in the beginning days of uh, Java learning Java le Java programming. So, generally we will start accessing static members using class name only we know that and surprisingly static members we can also access using object reference. So, why? So, in a coming concepts we will see here using class name you can access and using object reference variable also you can access using object reference variable also you can access. But sir this is also object address na see object reference variable holds address this keyword is also holds address sir, but by using this keyword you cannot access why sir what is the reason we know that we already discussed in a previous FAQs this we cannot use inside the static area reasons already we know this we cannot use inside the static area you can access static member ok, 
but from where you are accessing also you should consider and come to here. So, now the static member we are accessing from non static area wherever you are the basic thing using class name you can access using class name you can access and now sir can we use a this keyword can we use a this keyword yes you can reason you are in a non static area from the non static area you can use this keyword and of course object reference variable also we can object reference variable also we can access ok. So, this is how to access static members in Java application. So, in your mind right. So, remember some of the points. So, what are the points sir? What are the points? So, first point first point if you want to access static member any static member if you want to access you can access by using class name you can access by using class name and you can access by using object address also two options you have generally people saying that static member we can access only by using class name no using object address also it is possible but from where you are accessing also you should consider suppose if you are in a static area you cannot access using this keyword because we discussed clearly this keyword you cannot access inside the static context ok. So, hope you understood well alright for more videos please subscribe to Naresh channel thank you.